Hi. Jimmy, hi. How are you? What are you doing here? Well, Angelica phoned the office. Apparently, you need to have someone with you overnight. Well, every cloud has a silver lining. <laughs> Officially, it's because you've had a knock on the head. Unofficially, it's to prevent you chasing innocent young girls. Hey, listen. I'm telling you, she is definitely involved. Yes, well, we know that. They contacted her again yesterday. They've offered us the other two million tapes. Yesterday? Why didn't you phone me? Because Godzilla turned them down flat, said he wasn't interested. Oh, shit. Well, they probably would have given us the runaround again anyway. No, not that. Yesterday. It's today now. Jimmy, you're still concussed. I wish I was. I was supposed to have the kids tonight, and Sally is going to kill me. Oh, schat, jij laat je niet te zien. Uh, ik vind maar niks. Ik wil het niet. John, tell it to me. Ja, yeah, nou. Well, Shall I get that? Ja, yeah. the reception on the bar is still here. Hello, Jimmy Griffin's room. Oh, great. Well, that explains everything. Sally, look, this is not what you think. So what are you doing there? Room service? If you really must know, Jimmy's had an accident, OK? Not that that would interest you. Of course it does. Why didn't you tell me Jimmy had had an accident? Well, mainly because I didn't know. So how is he? Is he in hospital? Look, I'm fine. I'm fine. Calm down. I am calm. So what happened this time? I got knocked out. But it's, it's nothing serious, apparently. I've just got to rest up overnight. And Gabby just happened to be there to look after you. I didn't arrange this, Sally. Don't bother, Jimmy. I'll be there on Saturday. Rock solid guarantee. Will you tell the kids? I'll make it up to them. You OK? Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking. I used to live for uh, phone calls when I was away. She made me feel great. Loved? Oh, yeah. She still does. Why do you think she gets so angry? Well, it might have something to do with me being stuck in this hotel room with you. She wouldn't think like that if she could see this room. What is it with men in places like this? Are you really that desperate? What? Do you think... It... I didn't book this. Harriet did this. God, do I look like the kind of man that needs to pay for it? No. No, I, I'm sorry. You said no violence. How was I supposed to know the Jarvis would pick an old man? 
And what about us two at Dunkirk? There was no need to kill Griffin. That's my idea. I don't believe you. Why didn't you tell me you were switching the money? Because you didn't need to know. You don't get it, do you? I want to keep you out of it. Then it's easier for us to be together. I'm telling you he knew you, Han. He could see it in my eyes. He doesn't know a thing. He's just guessing. Yeah, but he's guessing right. to say thanks for looking after me. Oh, that's rude. OK, what's the real reason? They want a deal again, Gabby. We're back in business. Oh, Jimmy. Come on, if you can set up a deal, I can get Hello, to... Hello, Planet Earth calling Jimmy. I can get to them this time. Yeah, and I could lose my job. Or I suppose we could just stuff it down Godzilla's throat. Come on, Frank. Jimmy needs the Dunkirk and Rossi's unfiled. I told her the files rear Harriet, but I never said anything about him taking them away. Look, don't be a prat, Frank. Just hand him over, yeah? <sighs> We're in there, under O. For all what a shame they didn't let a real pro carry on. <laughs> You're a treasure. I know. Should be put in a box and buried. Photocopier's over there. You're joking? Ten pence a copy and all. recommendation on this one was to write it off. We've already laid out over a million. Not really. We recovered four million tapes instead of six. And now you're asking us to put up another 250,000 sterling. Has Godzilla okayed this? What do you think? It's another million pounds saved. Only if your boy comes through. Well, let's hope he does. Trying to raise the extra money for the other team. Really? Ah, sweet. And such a novel way to hand in your notice. Oh, for oh, goodness come sake. Come on, Alex! No one goes round raising money on my name unless I know about it. She's out. It was my fault. I'm going after Tommy Shawcross's killers. What, the old geezer? From what I heard, he was living on borrowed time anyway. It doesn't mean to say he deserves to die. Nor does it mean he deserves 250k of my client's money. Do you seriously think I'll give a monkey's toss about some geriatric crane driver? But then you're an arrogant, self-centred piece of shit. Careful, James. You could just be making a very important career decision here. Whatever. I'm going after those killers. And if I pick up your poxy tapes along the way, I'm going to come back and shove them down your mouth. If I can get your trousers off. Take us another pint in there, will you please, Glenda? There you are, Frank. Have this one on me. What do you want? Just a friendly chat with a fellow professional. Cut the crap. All right. All this huffing and puffing about me taking the OLT case. Professionals don't nick each other's work. I didn't nick it. You couldn't have taken that job anyway. How do you reckon that, then? 
because Tommy Shawcross was a suspect. And you were representing his wife on another case. Listen, that case was closed last year. There was no clash of interest. But what I heard... Where did you get that? You thieving little cow. I can have you for this. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're still representing it. No, I'm not. This is Joyce Shawcross's claim to the Ombudsman for a second operation after a failed hip replacement following a car accident. Sounds like it's ongoing to me. Thanks. Look, she was an old lady. I was trying to give her some hope. She won't get anywhere with it. 25 uh, One off final settlement last time for five grand, and that's her lot. Five grand. Is that all? Is that all? She only got that because yours truly nailed the opposition for Dickie Brakes. Her husband was drunk and she was driving without any insurance. I should get a night off for that one. Yeah, well, I've always said you should get knighted, Frank. Honestly, Glenn, you're trying up some people. Yeah.